Hi everyone, this is just a quick announcement that I have a brand new course that is ready for public consumption. The course is called Simple Songs for Special Occasions, but that title hardly describes what this course is and what it does. This course uses simple songs, but it applies to every level of violin skill. If you're a beginner or you're an advanced violinist, you can benefit immensely from this course. In this course, I utilize simple, familiar songs to teach important skills, namely how to play by ear and how to train our ears, how to memorize better, it teaches you to implement your vibrato into actual music. A lot of times beginning vibrato, when we try to use it in music, it goes out the window and, and we forget all of our training. This teaches you how to make that transition. And I include a little bit of work on fingerboard geography and how to transpose melodies into different keys. The songs that I chose for this course are 10. It's Mary Had a Little Lamb, Go Tell Aunt Rhody, French Folk Song, I Love the Mountains, Frere Jacques, He's a Jolly Good Fellow, Auld Lang Syne, Home on the Range, Danny Boy, and The Barcarolle from The Tales of Hoffman. These are beloved melodies and they're very familiar to most people. If they're unfamiliar to you, we address that in the course. But what that means is that you can take these songs that you've learned and memorized and you'll have them in your back pocket for special occasions. Each song will include two lesson videos, um, play along videos for multiple keys, backing tracks that accompany you when you want to play alone, and as a bonus, sheet music after you've already learned how to play these songs by ear then you get to download the sheet music so you have it for your library. Here's a sample from a play along video. A two, a one, a two, a three, and a go. Here's a sample from a lesson video. So we're in the key of D two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. But what note do we start on? It does just because we're in the key of D doesn't mean we begin on D. So my starting note isn't necessarily the key I'm in. So when you pick a starting note, you still have to kind of figure out what key you're in so that you know what the sharps and flats are. 98% of the time, you're going to end on the tonic note. And this is no exception. Mary Had a Little Lamb, it starts on F sharp, but it ends on D. Let's dive right in. And let's start on an F sharp. You probably know the tune Mary Had a Little Lamb. So F sharp, and then sing it in your head. Or pluck it out on your violin. Now, are we going, does Mary Had a Little Lamb start by a descending pitch or ascending pitches? Is it getting higher or lower? It's getting lower. Oh. Then it goes right back up again. So down a scale and right back up. So like I told you in the introductory, introductory video, think in terms of what direction is the pitch going and are they moving in stepwise fashion or are there skips? So this course is lighthearted, it's fun, but underneath it's teaching very important, very intense skills. So whether you're an advanced violinist or a beginner, come to reddesertviolin.com and see what simple songs can do for you. See you there.